Hey everybody, okay, I hope that there's not too much um, stuff going on in the background here, but um, welcome to my, my YouTube channel. Um, most of you guys that know me already have a YouTube channel that is um, specifically for the lipstick I sell, which is called LipSense. Um, and recently, I have been through a lot of um, trauma this last year, which has led to an incredible, incredible, I'm not even really sure where to look on this camera. Do I look at the, um, <laughs> I don't know, do I look, where do I look? Um, but anyways, sorry. So this is my hair loss. I have had so much hair over the last year that has come out. Don't mind my gray. I have found that the, my gray actually helps um, in camouflaging some of these hair pieces. So. I want to show you guys my hair loss. I just washed and dried my hair, but this is what I am dealing with here. So as you can see, it's getting even too much to, to fill in, but usually I use my um, hair powder. This one's the Joan Rivers hair powder, and normally I use that um, to fill in, but it's starting to get to the point now where I can't even do that. So I just want to show you guys how I apply my toppers every day that I have been wearing. Um, and this is what she looks like. This one is made by a girl named Sharon. She is uh, at Highline Wigs, H-I-G-H, and I'll put that down in the comments, H-I-G-H-L-I-N-E-W-I-G-S, Highline Wigs, at Highline Wigs on Instagram. Um, and that's how you can find her. This one actually came super long, but I cut and colored her accordingly but we've got one clip one large clip in the front sewn on there and I find that I really like the clip because it secures it even better up here because I do have such thin hair up here that I find that just having the clips isn't enough for me because it starts to kind of pull and it's um, a lot of tension so she does have the the big clip here which is great and then we have the little clips all the way around now all of her toppers are a silk base, so if I hold this up to the light, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see in here, but if I hold this up to the light, it is see-through. Can you see the light up there? Um, so her scalp is incredibly, incredibly, incredibly lifelike. I mean, nobody nobody would ever know. So this is what I call my, my baby chick hair. Um, it's pretty sad, but I know a lot of you guys um, are dealing with the same thing, so you guys get it. And I don't really care anymore. I'm just gonna kind of sh tell the world and show the world um, what I have found here because I think that these things are phenomenal. Okay, so this is how I go about every day applying my toppers. The first thing that I start with is like a dry shampoo or a texture spray, and I just kind of get it all over in there because I want a little bit of like, grit and you want a little bit of grip you don't want too clean of hair you like this this is a good look i should probably do this all the time you don't want too clean of hair up there so i take that then i kind of just tease all up here so then i have a lot to to grip on with with my clips so just gentle teasing don't do too much especially if your hair is um fine and and brittle at all like mine is so find your part that you want. I just kind of comb it down where I want and I have all these little leftover baby hairs that are finally growing out. But I use these to my advantage. Okay? So, get your get your lovely do going here. Okay. Then I'm going to take my piece and you just kind of get it ready to go. Make sure the clips are open and then I'm just going to flip it. I'm going to look in the mirror over here and I'm going to take the clip and scoop it in. I don't know if you saw it. Get it lined up with the part that you want. Then I hold on to it. I clip one side. You can hear that clip. Okay. Then I clip the, the back here. Clip. And then I clip this other side. And you can hear it clip. Okay, so that is in. Now this is not this is not complete, although it does look pretty good even when it's not complete. So I'm gonna come up close here and see I leave out some of my hairs. So I comb out and this is where I find that some of my grays actually help me out here. Okay, but 
what I do next is after I've kind of combed some of my natural through, I'm going to take my, my hair powder, just get a little bit on my brush, and then I'm going to go and fill in just a little bit of that scalp area here. I'm sorry guys, this is some of my first YouTube videos on doing this with um, this kind of setup, so I'll get better along the way. Sorry, I've got kind of even like a shaky camera here because I don't have a stable part. Okay, so I filled in with just a little bit of powder. I hold it and I comb my natural in the front here into the piece, okay? You can use a, I don't like to hardly, you know, I like to just gently kind of brush my pieces. So this is just a pick and this topper Hers are, the, the brunettes are um, Russian and Brazilian hair, I believe. So they come with a natural wave already, which I love because you can get this nice, sexy beach wave. And so here is my topper from Highline Wigs. I have cut her into an angled bob, as you can see. Um, I've got a couple more pieces coming. I've got a longer piece coming. Um, we made it a little bit bigger of a topper so that I can go a little longer and cover a little bit more hair. Um, I've got my little wiglets and then I've also got my full wigs. And so I will be showing you guys some more stuff, but today I wanted to do it on just my little topper because I had so many um, questions about this specific topper. So I will put the information in the comments below. I'll put it up here on um, where to go to look at her stuff. Sorry, I got an eyelash coming off. Where to go to look at her stuff. Um, and then pricing, you can ask her or message me directly. Um, I believe she said that if we mention me, that you guys will get a slight discount, which is awesome. Um, she's really cool to work with. She does all custom. You can have different colors made. This one just came brown. You can do updos. You can actually wear the hair back. If you choose to pin it back, you can wear headbands. I mean, it is so natural, guys. Look at the part. I'll get up nice and close to that. I mean, it's just, these things have really literally changed my life. I mean, of course, Lip Sense has changed my life as well. I'm wearing hazelnut today with matte gloss. And most of you know that this, or I guess some of you girls don't know, if you've never heard of Lip Sense and you started watching my um, hair channel, my lipstick that I sell does not come off. It doesn't smudge. It doesn't budge. It doesn't come off at all. This will be on all day. So this is hazelnut. This is a nice brown color for the fall. But yeah, this is my Highline Wigs topper. I love her. Um, her name was Roxy when she was longer. She's still a Roxy though because she's nice and sassy. Um, but I will get better at these videos. I got to figure out my lighting scenario. I got to figure out where to look because I don't even know where I'm supposed to be looking. But um, let me see if I can get a picture back. I just want to show you guys the crown area now. I hope you guys can see that back there. How the hair moves. I mean, and it's literally, it's not going, it's not going anywhere. And that's what I love about it. Like I could go out in the wind and it's not gonna come off. So yeah, I know I'm a mess. I'm a piece of work. But you guys love me and you guys keep watching me. So I'm gonna keep doing these videos. And I hope you guys find them informative, but yes message me. Um, you can friend me on Facebook. I'm Tawny Lee Condra. I think I've got it as Tawny Brown Condra on there. Find me on Facebook. I'll put my um, links below and then you guys are more than welcome to message me and I can help you um, pick out a perfect piece. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye.